Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing 2018 Bowman Baseball 12 box hobby edition. This is a case break, random team break number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting to the action. Really appreciate it. Jay Mack with that last spot mojo. There's all the teams right here, plus some combos, as you remember from previous ones. And at the end of the break, in a separate randomizer, We'll give away this Topps jersey, which is sitting right, be which is which is right behind me, right here. We're giving away this Topps jersey, nice button-down jersey, size X, adult XL. So we'll be giving that away in a separate randomizer at the end of the break. So let's randomize the names and teams six and a five, 11 times. Good luck, names. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven times. Six and a five, eleven times. So after eleven times, we've got Adam down to V Maximus, Vasilis in the action. Six and a five, eleven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11th and final time. Diamondbacks Astros combo all the way down to the Padres. And here we go Adam Kupperman, Diamondbacks and Astros combo. Jeremy Merle with the Twins. Carl, you got the White Sox. Michael with the Nationals. Jason, you got the Blue Jays. Elvis with the Red Sox. Jeremy Merle, Yankees. Andrew K with the Rockies, Vasilis with the O's, Darren McKenzie, D Mac, you got the Royals and Brewers combo, Adam K with the Rays, J Mac, Last Bob Mojo, Marlins and Pirates, Mike Cody with the Mets, Carl with the Cardinals, Kurt with the Reds, Cosmo with the Angels, nice cause, Jeremy Merle with the A's, Vasilis, you got my Dodgers, Jeremy Merle with the Braves, Adam Cupperman with the Cubs, Mark with the Phillies, Jeremy with the Giants, and Vasilis with the Padres. Let's sort by column B, by team. Any trades, folks? Make sure uh, make sure you take a take a look. If you're not sure, take a look at the 2018 Bowman Baseball Guide that I created for everybody. That was a fun project. Link is in the chat to that 2018 Bowman Baseball Guide. The Reds. You have Hunter Green. That's the big name for the Reds. He, I think he's on, he's on the box, isn't he? Well, while people are considering trades, let's open up the case. Andrew K has the Rockies up for trade. Hunter Green is an LA guy, Kurt. Went to high school out here. We met him at the Topps Industry Conference. It's a Series 2 poster. We'll give this away at some point. He's supposed to be, he's, everyone says he's supposed to be a pretty special player. If you click that link, Kurt, and everybody else, and go to the Bowman Baseball Guide, you'll have some additional information on him. There he is, right there. It's on the box. All right, so Panda has Blue Jays up for trade. I'll give everyone, I know this is kind of a big, hefty break, so I'll give everyone a couple additional moments to trade. Otherwise, we will just rock and roll. Speaking of the Blue Jays, they're playing right now. They're tied at three. They threatened in the bottom of the 10th. But they failed to they failed to walk it off the Blue Jays. So now the Red Sox are hitting in the top of the eleventh. Got a man on already. No, I don't see any. All right. Everyone's too nervous to trade. I think. All right. So trade window is closed, boys and girls.
All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Pop open all these packs. Remember, paper does not ship. Chrome does. And obviously, serial numbered paper cards will obviously ship, but just the commons will not. In case you're wondering, folks, we've only pulled two Shohei Otani autographs. They were base autos, so they were not numbered. And they came from the same case, actually. And that was many, many, many cases ago. So I would argue that we are due. I would argue that we are due. list while I'm opening up these packs. That would make uh, Cosmo very happy who has the Angels. Let's print. Alright, right, so Boombox needing a Reese Hoskins. And you got the Phillies right, you're needing a Reese Hoskins. I, I feel like we haven't seen a Reese Hoskins auto like at all. So on a Friday night, thanks everyone for hanging out with me here. Appreciate it. All right, so we'll try to breeze through this break as, as quickly as we can. So I'm going to fly through the paper here and then stay on the chrome. Victor Robles, Rookie of the Year favorites. Could be. If they call him up. I haven't called him up yet. I thought they would by now. And a gold, Dennis Santana. They might call him up. 39 out of 50. Dodgers may need a need a little bit of a spark. That goes to Basilis with my Dodgers. Nice. Who's playing well. 39 out of 50. Nice. space for myself. I like these Bowman Sterling inserts. Those are cool. A tiny paper will save, of course. Redemption coming up. 
Any guesses on the redemption, folks? And we got Jorge Ona, 80 out of 250, purple paper. That's a good guess. Luis Robert, Mike Thompson, nice. I, that's probably who he is. Uh, Jorge Ona for the Pir uh, Padres. That'll go to Vasilis. A Babe Ruth autograph that that would make uh, that would make Jeremy Merle very happy. All right, so Chris Davis, what can you tell us, Chris Davis? You are due to receive a Chrome Prospect autograph refractor parallel of L. Yeah, Luis Luis Robert. So that'll go to Carl and the White Sox. Nice. Nice start. Let's keep the hits right there. Let's go to the next box. Yeah, the Luis Robert, those those refractor redemptions are actually selling pretty well on a secondary. I I feel I think that should easily get you your spot money back at least. If not if not double that. Maybe the base autos get you your spot money back. And then I think the refractors maybe 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 double that. Oh, Corey Kluber, where are you going? Let's see right there. Paper Kluber. Faze, what's going on? <laughs> You're on the phone with him now? Well, tell him congrats. some green in there too somewhere I think somewhere over here check that out we'll see what that's all about all right next one folks good luck everybody second box of many nice hunter green atomic for the Reds, I don't know. These aren't numbered, but nice atomic parallel. I know he's one of the bigger names in this set. It's 
Nick Prado. The next stack here, good luck. Otani. We'll top load all of those up a little bit later. And it's Travis. Travis Lakins out of 125. 95 out of 125 for the Red Sox. Goes to Elvis. In fact, the Red Sox are playing right now. They're tied up with the Blue Jays. seen the auto yet. There it is. Another White Sox. Pay attention. Carl, another one for you. Nicky Delmonico. Rookie auto for the White Sox. No, it's a long break. I get it. For Kaka Bub. Nicky Delmonico auto. Maybe it should just be, uh, maybe you should just not pay attention. And then the, the hits will just come. Aaron Knapp, 8 out of 25. Orange paper for the Marlins Pirates combo. J Mac with that one. Maybe a little try to trade, couldn't trade there. Try to trade, couldn't trade mojo. It's kind of a thing, it happens. We got Rysel Iglesias for the Reds out of 499. That'll be for Kurt. Yeah, Panda, you you may you may regret introducing your friend to this. He's getting all the big hits, and you're like, why did I? Why, why did I? Why did I get him to? Why did I ask him to join these breaks? All right, nice. All right, next box. Now Carl saying it's too bad I didn't roll the angels. Well, listen, if you see here's the thing. If you had the angels, then you might have started paying attention to every box. And then you wouldn't get hits. That's the irony. Maybe that's maybe that's your secret. That's the trick. So maybe it's a the, the old double-edged sword. A um, few boxes into this break here. The and, and a quick score update for Friday the 11th. Of May 2018, the Seattle Detroit game postponed. Marlins beating the Braves 6 3. Did not expect that. Uh, Oakland beating up on the Yankees. A's beating the Yankees 10 5. Pirates wailing on the Giants 11 2. Baltimore beats the Rays 9 4. Mets beating the Phillies 3 1. Cubbies beating up on, their, on the South Side rivals. The White Sox, 11-2. North Siders beating the South Siders. That Red Sox-Blue Jays game still tied at three. With a man in scoring position. Kevin Pillar just stole the base. 
He's on second now in scoring position in the bottom of the 11th. Games in progress. Oh no, the Kansas City is just a final. Royals beat the Royals beat the Indians 10-9. We'll, we'll check out the games in progress in the next box. A handful of games just underway or just in the middle. All right, good luck, everybody. Next one, got Matt Hall. Blue Jays leave a runner left in scoring position. And we got Taylor Ward to 499 for the Angels. Cause with that. Eloy Jimenez is your Bowman Sterling insert, Carl. Next side, Otani and Alex Verdugo. 95 out of 150, I think who was optioned back to AAA. Still, still could make an impact on the team later this season. Dodgers just shuffling things around a little bit. Trying to get a little spark going. Shed Long for the Reds. 91 out of 150 going to Kurt. Kurt with the Reds. And Sam Hilliard is your autograph for the Rocks. Colorado Rockies, that'll be for Andrew K. With Sam Hilliard. Let's see if we have any parallels. And that's it for this box. And the next box, good luck. Games in progress. The Rangers holding on to a narrow 1-0 lead in the bottom of the eighth in Houston. At the end of the fifth, the Rockies are leading the Brewers 9-4 in Colorado. In Arizona, at the end of the fourth, Nationals ahead of the Diamondbacks 2-1. Bottom of the third, in LA, or in Anaheim, I guess, Minnesota with a narrow 1-0 lead over the Angels. Bottom of the second, Cardinals out to an early lead in San Diego, 3-0. And in the bottom of the second, come on, Dodgers. Reds, 
Reds with an early 1-0 lead in the bottom of the second. Dark times for my Dodgers, folks. A lot of injuries. A lot of players just slumping in general. Just, everything is misfire. Nothing's clicking at the moment. A lot of other teams are clicking. Dodgers are not at the moment. I suppose they'll figure it out. I, I knew I knew it was going to be a down season. I just didn't think it would be it would be this down at this stage. But I think last year the Dodgers record was not that much different from this year's. So we'll see. Let's see what happens. Still a good good ways of the season to go before before falling into true despair. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Andy saying. The Twins have been misfiring for 27 years now. Well, they're up on the Angels right now. Starting pitch, I feel like they gotta, they got to get that starting pitching in order. So this, this is who Boombox is looking for. We have not seen a... We've not seen a Reese Hoskins autograph in a little bit, right? Should we can set him out here, Boombox, for a little inspiration? I'd like to see a Reese Hoskins auto. Didn't Jake Berger like tear his Achilles or something like that? He poor Jake Berger. His progress cut at least a year short with that. And an orange Josh Ockamy. Nice. 10 out of 25 for the Red Sox. Elvis with the Red Sox. It looked like a different color there, wasn't it? Francisco Mejia for the Indians. Oh, there's the auto coming up. The autograph is going to the Twins. Speaking of the Twins, maybe Zach Littell. We'll be able to supplement the uh, the pitching staff someday. And that young offense. Offense seems to be pretty strong. 73 out of 150. Zach going to the Twins. That'll be for Jeremy Merle. Delvin Perez, Atomic. Ooh, some orange. 
Paper, Oscar De La Cruz. Three out of 25. Nice orange paper. So a couple oranges popping out of the box. Cubbies, that'll be for Adam Kupperman with the Cubs. And Helio Ramos, 15 out of 125. Nice one for the Giants. That'll go to Jeremy Merle. Set these right here. Oh, nice. So that's right, on Sunday, right? Romero and Otani. Otani with another bomb last night. Can, could Otani, you know, as the season goes on, is he building the stats to, to become AL MVP? Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But the, the, the sheer uniqueness of him, of his playing, I mean, he, he can obviously hit and pitch. Now, on its own, the stats may not be MVP caliber, but the fact that he could do both, doesn't that give him a ton of value as a player? It would take an extra roster spot. To get a to get someone like Otani, you save a roster spot. That's, that's value. Nick Jaspi of Jaspi's Hobbyland put a couple pennies before the season started on this guy to win the AL MVP. We'll get some pennies back for that. As soon after after Otani's like first like hot week or two, the the price, the odds on uh, on Otani who was like plus I don't know what he was plus a thousand or something like that to to win the AL MVP. But now I think it's dropped significantly. I think I think just the hype has been so. I mean the hype exists in the betting world too. Not, not just for our hobby. The hype is there too. So much hype that that drove the uh, that drove the the odds significantly down. Like he's almost a favorite now. Oh, the Blue Jays won. Blue Jays went five three, bottom to twelve. I don't know what happened. I see some orange shimmer down here. That looks pretty good. Yep, Luke Mail homers, scoring Curtis Granderson. All right, there's a good Twins pitcher right there, Jose Barrios. Michael Mercado. There's Garrett Cooper, 25 out of 25. Coop for the Marlins. J-Mac with that one. And Jose Adoles Garcia. Carl, 
with the Cardinals. The Carl Cardinals for Carl. There you go. Look at this. Carl just raking in the auto so far in this break. Now those orange parallels, J Mac, are really nice. We've got another one coming up too, everybody. Wait for it. Wait for it. Don't touch that dial on your computer. The, the dial's on your computer. Corbin Burns. That's 20 out of 25. Orange Shimmer for the Brew Crew. That'll go to the Royals Brewers combo D Mac. Right, so let's see if there's other parallels here. There's got to be more. Hunter Green, Bowman Sterling insert. Diamondback. Diamondbacks do have a good talent pipeline coming up. Sorry, Stephen Duger. I think after, the, after that, that front office who moved Dansby Swanson, their number one overall pick for Shelby Miller and whatnot, after that deal, I think that front office got fired, I think a year or so afterwards, you know, and then they started to rebuild that farm system. And they've, I think they've been making some pretty good selections, at least early on. There's Khalil Lee. Out of 499. For the Royals, that'll go to the Royals Brewers combo D Mac. All right, next box. Oh, here are the Quick recap there. All right, another. Who's who's pitching tonight for the Dodgers? What the what, what the hell is going on here? Come on, Kenta Maeda. Six hits and two earned runs already. Top of the third. What, what, what is it? And Matt Harvey twirling a one-hitter? I mean, it's only been like two innings, but Matt Harvey twirling a one-hitter right now? Unbelievable. Also, Matt Harvey on the Reds? Does Matt Harvey revive his career with the Reds? What do you think? Tell me. Oh, we got some Angels fans versus, versus Andy and the Twins. Here. I think we've got a couple other Twins fans out here too. We Jaspie's Hobbyland plays well in Minnesota, in the Midwest. Looks like we are right on track.
right, good luck, everybody. Corey Kluber to four ninety nine for the tribe. That'll go to who has the Indians in this? Are there no Indians in this? Did we did we throw out the Indians? Oh yeah, what were the teams that we just randomly just took out? Not randomly, but for a reason. Oh yeah, so the Indians, Tigers, Mariners, and Rangers actually only have these numbered cards. They didn't have hits. So we actually remove them from the randomizer. So everyone will get a shot at this Corey Kluber. So we'll randomize a list at the very end. Um, what we'll do actually is the, the um, name on top will get the top's jersey. And then the second name will get the whole lot, any and all of those cards there. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., 297 out of 499. I don't think he has autos in this, but these parallels are going to be nice. Jason with the Vlad. I think we just leave that alone right there. We'll top load those before those ship out. Gotta keep stay on stay on target at the time. Jorge Mateo. Delvin Perez to 499 for Carl and the Cardinals. Nice refractor. Some Otani and some orange. Michael Baez. 14 out of 25. Number 56 on the Bowman's, uh, Bowman Scouts Top 100. That's for the San Diego Padres. That'll go to Vasilis. Nice. And Jordan Hicks is your Cardinals autograph for Carl. So, this, so far, this half case, we're halfway through the break. This half has mostly been the Carl show. I think the majority of the autographs went to him. Right, he's not not paying attention. That's how he's getting these hits. It's the, it's the secret. All right, this last bit here, paper, 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 chrome, chrome, paper, chrome, paper, paper, paper. There you go. Halfway through the break, ladies and gentlemen, we are halfway there, halftime. Start working on the other half. Good luck, everybody. Other half right here. So 
So we've got about another 45 minutes to go. It's about the length of a uh, the length of a soccer match. 45 for the first half, 45 for the second half, around there. And then after this, so that'll so about 45 minutes. I'll take us to about 30 minutes past the next hour, and then a little extra time for me to clear away this break and everything. So in about 45 minutes or so, let's just say an hour, which will be around 9 o'clock Pacific, I would say, a little bit after 9 o'clock Pacific. From there, we'll have an hour and a half to fill up two more breaks in order to unlock the big promo that we have tonight. So that would be National Treasures Basketball and then Fanatics Under Wraps Baseball. So we are three spot randoms and then one break away from doing the basketball. Three spot randoms and 16s away. So it's in single digits. And then we're one Fanatics Authentics Under Wraps Baseball break away from unlocking the entire promo. All the details, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. Help us fill those breaks. Let's give away some money tonight. So once again, by the time we finish this, I mean, as of now, we have about about two hours, little little over two hours, to fill up the promo. So if you're not in this break, this is if you're not in this break, this. It's actually not, even if you're in this break, this is not exactly the most entertaining break in the world. There are a lot of cool hits in here, but just from a from a showmanship perspective, from a TV perspective, it's not exactly going to be uh, riveting viewers. So take that time to, uh, to stretch your legs a little bit and grab some spots in NT Basketball, any of the spot randomizers that are on the site, jazbeeshobbyland.com. And, uh, or spots in that under wraps baseball, autograph baseball break, because we're gonna need everyone's help to try to unlock that promo. And who knows, you may end up with some promo money just for doing that as well, and some hits. So help us out, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's not leave money on the table tonight. It's rare that we do. I don't want, this is a good promo though. I don't wanna, four winners of $100 break credit. Don't wanna leave that on the table. Out of 250, purple paper, Paul DeYoung. Let's go to the Cardinals and Carl. Ronald Acuna, Bowman Sterling. There is Otani. Ronald Acuna seems like the real deal. What's that, William? The entertaining part is when you say Carl with llamas with hats. Wait, I don't know what I don't know what that reference is. That is over my head. Hats for bats. Keep bats warm. DJ Stewart at a two fifty. Purple Chrome for the O's. Vasilis with the Orioles.
And Mackenzie Mills for the Phillies. That goes to Boombox. Not quite the Reese Hoskins he was looking for, but still a Phillies auto nonetheless. Nice atomic Acuna. For the Bravos, Jeremy Merle with the Braves. Same guy that did Charlie the Unicorn. Why does that sound familiar? Uh, another Braves parallel. This time it's numbered 137 out of 150. Mike Soroka, number 25 on the Bowman Scouts' top 100. Another one for the Braves and Jeremy. Box is done. A lot of parallels out of there, too. All right. Next box. Good luck. that up afterwards. That sounds familiar. All right. What else is going on? What, what are my daughters doing? Still getting, still getting one hit by Matt Harvey. That's cool. Almost there. A few packs to go here and then four more boxes. Good luck everybody. Here comes the next one. There's Isaac Paredes, 131 out of 250. Taylor Clark.
Nice Vlad Guerrero Jr. Bowman Sterling insert. And there's your autograph, Daniel Johnson. Michael K with that one. There you go, Nationals on the board in this break. Ooh, look at this. Nice, 16 out of 25. Brendan McKay, Bowman Sterling insert. Adam Kupperman with the Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. Could potentially be a two-way player. First baseman and pitcher. Fourth overall in the draft. Cole Reagan's at a 499 refractor. Good luck. So as it stands now, folks, what um, I'm gonna take a look at the standings really quick. I'm gonna see what everyone thinks about a month or so in the season. Uh, Brian's here asking, do I think that football mixer will break tonight? Yes, I do. So buy in. Everyone buy in. So in the AL East, the Boston Red Sox and the Yankees are virtually tied. They're only a half game separating them. At this point in the season, who do you think wins that division? The Red Sox are 26 and 11. They're a half game ahead of the Yankees who are 26 and 12. The Yankees just lost to, well they just lost two in a row. They lost the series finale to the Red Sox and I think Oakland beat them today. Who wins that division? I think it's going to be this close throughout the entire season. Now, now the, the Blue Jays can, can be sneaky. They can, they can kind of sneak in there, too, into the mix. But if everybody's healthy... If everyone's healthy, you got to think the Red Sox, or you got to think that the Red Sox and the Yankees will be neck and neck pretty much the entire entire season. A 
the, the video is still there, Brian. But I, yeah, I guess it's not the same if, if she's not watching it live. Anyone have any thoughts on the uh, Red Sox Yankees? Anyone's gonna have, have a bold prediction on who's gonna finish first in that division? Kurt says Red Sox. Andy says Baltimore. Man, if Baltimore, they're 15 and a half games behind first. If, if the Orioles, can you imagine? If the Orioles come back and win the division, and if everybody was just healthy, that would be crazy. Can you imagine that? You have Tampa Bay coming back from 10 games back. I mean, that would be probably one of the one of the greatest turnarounds in baseball history. There's Matt Sig Sauer speaking of uh, the Yankees. Panda saying Yankees for sure on this. Gold Rush saying Boston just because he's from Boston. I don't know. I think that they're they're going to be neck and neck. I mean, Yankees are really heating up, but. I think it's going to be neck and neck. It's Colton Welker, Atomic. I would lean... Yeah, it's hard to... I don't know, but they're both such good teams. Panda saying Yankees has that bullpen depth. There's Braxton Garrett for the Marlins out of 150. So J Mac actually racking up some decent parallels here in this one for this for the Marlins. There's Redugo for my Dodgers. Bryce Harper, Bowman Sterling, Otani, Another parallel coming up. We have Adonis Medina, 62 out of 125 for Boombox and the Phillies. And we're down to three boxes to go. What about the AL Central, folks? AL Central is weird because the team leading the AL Central is under 500. The Cleveland Indians are leading the AL Central with an 18 and 19 record. Minnesota's just a game back at 15 and 18. Tigers are only two and a half games back, and then Kansas City is a little bit further away at five and a half, and the White Sox are eight back. Um, 
How do you guys think this? What do you guys think, boys and girls? How does this division finish up? Cleveland, this is Andy, and first, Twins in second. I can see that. That seems like how it should go, right? I don't think there's going to be, like, in the AL East, I can see, you can see Toronto, you know, kind of putting it together and, and it's kind of surprising some teams, right? They could, be a, they could be a surprise. I don't know, maybe an injury to the Yankees or Red Sox. Who knows? I could see them surprising and maybe getting to second place. I don't know if they're going to win the division, but you can see Toronto surprising uh, some teams. I don't see that many surprises in the AL Central. It's just got to be Cleveland and Minnesota. I don't know if the Tigers, Royals, or White Sox, I mean, they're going to put together a decent, I guess the Tigers are going to put together a decent season maybe, but all, the, all the, those clubs are rebuilding. Yeah, Andy, I mean, I feel like the Twins offense, Andy's a Twins guy, I feel like the offense is strong. You know, I think they led the league in runs in the second half of last season. And that's strong. The pitching, yeah, bullpen too. Although adding Lance Lynn and Odorizzi, I think, was, was I think a good move to add at least a little bit of depth. But maybe they need a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Oh, the uh, uh, yeah, offense is good, inconsistent, but inconsistent says Andy Young. You know, Max Kepler can be a little streaky. Eddie Rosario is still trying to find himself. You know. So I suppose guys like that are, you know, just a few years into the league, still figuring things out, I suppose. It'd be an interesting team. Yeah, AL West is extremely close. That's going to be hard to predict because the Angels are playing some, some good baseball. They are 23 and 14. And they are, they are essentially locked in a tie with the Astros who are 24 and 15. And then the Mariners are right behind them at 21 and 15. Game and a half back of Houston and the uh, and the Anaheim Angels, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim of Orange County in Anaheim. A's playing 500 baseball. They're actually looking pretty good in spite of their record. And and the Rangers, you know, clearly are kind of refiguring things out at 15 and 24. Who wins the AL West? That that'll be that's a challenge because you got three teams looking like they can do it. Angels, Astros, and Mariners. Now, before, I mean, obviously, the obvious choice is the Houston Astros, but I don't know. As the season's been going on, maybe the Astros fire, you know, fire on all cylinders, start pulling away. But for now, it seems interesting. Hunter Green. Wow. Big hit right here. Refractor Auto Hunter Green for Kurt. Twenty nine out of four ninety nine. He's your second overall pick in last year's draft. That is this is strong. This is exactly who you were looking for, Kurt. Someone look that up. What is what is that what does that go for on a secondary market, that refractor autograph? I'll bet I'll I'll bet a decent amount of pennies. Got Justin Williams out of 499 refractor. Hey, you are welcome, man. Hey, thanks for joining the break. You were, you're not even a baseball guy. He's like he just wanted to help fill a break. He was helping out with a hundred bucks, and he was just like, "I'll I'll try it." There he is, right there. Yeah, I agree, and he's got he's got a nice auto too. He's got a little bit of swag to him too. Look at that. Is that a dollar sign right there? A little dollar sign in the G? Alright, alright. He's got a little bit of flash to him. I'm okay with that.
Yu Chen Chang, 20, uh, 245 out of 250. Marcus Strowman's currently killing my fantasy team. What's going on with him? He doesn't seem injured. Any Blue Jays fans here? What's going on with him? What's the story? There's Jake um, Kalish. Jake from State Farm. So Panda saying hard to predict the AL West, but he's he's going Angels. He's an Angels fan. He's gonna go Angels to win the division. That'll be interesting. There's Andres Jimenez. We haven't seen his amazing auto yet. Best auto in the hobby. No doubt. So Gold Rush is saying, looks like around 120 for that auto. I feel like it'd be a little bit more. In my head, I was thinking more. But yeah, you got some inserts in there too. Well, yeah, it covers the spot, cost of admission. All right, two boxes go. Now we'll go into, yeah, I don't know what to pick for the AL West. Uh, for the AL East, just to recap the AL really quick, I, I, I think the Red Sox will eventually get the edge on that. It'll be very close. I think it'll come right down to the last week of the season, but I think the Red Sox will eventually do it. Um, you got to think that the Cleveland, Cleveland Indians will play, will just kind of pull it all together. They'll take the division. I think the Twins will be close behind. They're probably a... They're probably one of the wild, yeah, they're probably a wild card. Ooh, I don't know, wild card could be interesting too. You got Yankees, Twins, with the AL West playing so well. Wild card could be a difficult choice too. But I say the Indians will win that division. Twins coming in second. I think, I think the Angels are, are going to play well, but I got to say that I think the, the, the Astros just simply have too much depth. You know, I, I think they're going to pull away at some point in the season. And um, and have and take first, but I think the Angels will probably be right behind them. And though they certainly will get a playoff spot, I would think a wild card spot. Angels will. I see. So Boombox is saying on that Hunter Green auto, they were about uh, a couple hundred dollars plus a few weeks ago, but had, but it's gone down a little bit. I wonder why. Honestly, that could be. I mean, I I know Gold Rush. You're not much of a you're not a big baseball guy, so you probably don't have any sentiment attached to any of this. But that could be one to to hold on to. It's supposed to be the real deal, Holy Field. It might be. It should be the uh, if he continues to progress well in the minors. Should be. Um, should be like a centerpiece of the Reds rebuild. I think the Reds could follow that sort of uh, that sort of Braves sort of uh, the Braves kind of formula, where you got a lot of young players around a solid hitter like Freddie Freeman. Any thoughts on the AL East, folks? AL East is pretty tight. The Braves leading the AL East with a 22, or NL East, that is, with a 22 and 15 record. 
Phillies are right there, 22 and 16. If someone told me that on May 11th, 2018, that the Braves and Phillies will be first and second uh, with 22 wins, I'd say you're crazy. I'd say you're crazy and that the Nationals only had 21 wins. There were two games we had first place. I would say you're crazy. But yet, here we are. I don't know who's going to win that. The Mets started off hot, but have cooled off, cooled off a bunch. Andrew Kay is saying that Hunter Green's going for more, two fifty to one fifty. Yeah, I think I, I I would gold rush. I would say I would say one twenty sounds like a sounds like definitely the 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 floor on that. I think the, that floor should probably be closer to, to 150, I would say, and up. If you're inten I don't know what you're intending to do with it. If you're intending to sell it, I would put like a, like a buy it now at 250, just shoot the moon and see what happens, and then accept whatever feels comfortable for you, knowing what you know. Anyone have any thoughts on who's going to win the NL East? Any bold predictions there? Orange? Orange, nice. Now, Rockies do have a good talent pipeline. 14 out of 25 talent pipeline, Colorado Rockies. That is nice. Andrew K with the rocks. Ah, okay, okay. So we're looking at timing here. Boombox is saying so 200, 275 back in April, but the ones in the last week are closer to the 120 range. Gotcha. All right, so maybe a few weeks ago they were a little bit higher, last week a little bit lower. Will Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, out of 125. True story, he was uh, uh, West Philadelphia for him, born and raised. It was the playground where he spent most of his days, according to the back of his baseball card. He was just chilling out, maxing, and relaxing, all cool. A couple of guys are up to no good, started making trouble in his neighborhood, from what I hear. So that's what drove him to baseball, stay out of trouble. There's Glaber Torres out of 499. Yankees with that one. That Will Smith is actually a big, very big catching prospect for the for the Dodgers, Vasilis. We're very excited about him. Sack Latell Atomic. What else do we have here? James, what's going on, man? How are you? And Harrison Bader. 47 out of 150. Carl hits again. What? Carl hits again. And, and Harrison Bader having a pretty decent rookie campaign, too. Nice one, Carl. What a break for you. Yeah, it has been a minute or two, James. How are things? For, for you old school guys, you may remember Nick's 88. Carl fell asleep. Did he literally fall asleep? Come on, Carl. We'll make him, Panda, we'll make him watch the entire video. He'll be like, hey, yo, did I hit anything else? He'd be like, you just gotta watch the whole thing. 12 out of 50, gold paper, Brandon McKay. It's a nice one for the Rays. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Just make him watch the entire thing.
Well, what have you been up to, James? What's been keeping you busy and away from Jaspies? Nice. Ozzy Alvius is playing incredible. I mean, I mean, you got Acuna. Well, since Acuna came up and he's playing well too, I think people kind of forgot about how well Ozzy Alvius is doing. Girlfriend, I, I, you know you can. You know we we are a girlfriend friendly show. Jaspies and chill. The uh, the couple that breaks together stays together, James. So for the good of your relationship. You know what to do. Um, NL Central, St. Louis Cardinals. The Cards with Harrison Bader, 21 and 14. Brew Crew, a half game behind, 22 and 16. The Pirates, 22 and 16, half game back as well. And then the Cubs are a game back. The NL Central, I have no idea who's going to win that NL Central. Uh, I don't know if the Pirates are going to. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're already 22 game winners. Maybe they're for reals. I don't know. I don't know who's going to win the NL East. I have no idea. Probably the Nationals would be the safest bet, but who knows? Could be the Phillies, could be the Braves. NL Central, I feel like it's even tighter. Except for the Reds, everyone is, everyone is within a game of each other. St. Louis, Milwaukee, Pittsburgh, Chicago Cubs. Crazy. Now, you, you would think, like, yeah, the Cubs. But I don't know. That's a, that's like a, a multiple coin flip on that. Ooh, Andy saying I would even put a couple pennies on for entertainment purposes only, of course. But Andy says he Andy is saying I would I would just throw a couple pennies on the Brew Crew. And then of course, or on the last box. That's why I'm rushing through the divisions. I didn't time this right. Um, last box AL West. My Dodgers languishing at 16 and 21, eight games behind the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks off to a hot start. Five and five in the last 10, but that, they're still only 24 and 13, even after going just five and five in the last 10. So they're playing good baseball. Um, Rockies are as well, 21 and 17. Giants at 19 and 20. Dodgers 16 and 21. Padres 14 and 25. This might not be the year for my Dodgers. Still a lot of season to go, but looks a little rough for my Dodgers thus far. I don't think the Rockies can keep this up, could they? Nor the Giants. I think the Dodgers will end up in second place. Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 not, we're not millionaires, James. We, we can't be spending dollars on, on sports, gambling, for entertainment purposes only, 18 and up. You know, but... You know, pennies. We can do pennies. Bovada takes pennies. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. One more autograph to go, and let's see if there's any other parallels. No Ota No Otanis. There's Zach Littell again, though. Jeremy Merle with the Twinkies. Twins. There you have it. Well, there's your autograph. Maybe bonus autograph. Maybe Super Fractor low number parallel. I guess a non-auto Super Fractor Otani could still be possible, right? A one-of-one one paper Otani? Possible? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Sam Howard, blue paper to 150. That goes to the Rockies, that goes to Andrew K. Now, after this, I don't only see a couple of orders coming in. So there's Ian Anderson. That's a big pitching prospect for the Braves. Um, after this, I'm not sure what's going to happen after this, ladies and gentlemen. James, coming back from the dead, the prodigal son, wants to do some NT basketball. or NT basketball or NT baseball? James, which one? We got both on the site. NT basketball is part of a promo to win a bunch of break credit. We're giving away $400 of break credit tonight if a couple more breaks fill. One of them being anti basketball, the other one being the Fanatics Authentic Break. Anti baseball, not part of the promo, but a fun one to do. He's saying anti basketball. All right, let's do that. It's part of the promo. Tonight only. Who do we have here? Look at this. Out of 75, Vlad Guerrero Jr. 65 out of 75. 
Wasn't Panda trying to trade the Blue Jays? All right, there you go, man. Congrats. A couple nice uh, Vlad Guerrero inserts. I don't know if that's going to cover your spot, your cost of admission, but still nice to get that such a dynamic player who should be a big part of that Blue Jays future. That's right, James. Back in the day, James is saying, Joe pulled me a one-of-one one platinum Anthony Davis card. He has the Midas touch, the Midas fingers. What, what did you end up selling that for? You told me like seven, eight, seven, eight hundred bucks or something like that? Just for just for a regular base card, but it was a one-of-one. One. There's Chris Bryant, Bowman Sterling. Well, you, you, James, you missed my. Well, if you look at our videos, you'll see. But I have a, I had a, a four. Four case logo man streak going. Four cases, four logo man. Uh, then a year later, someone sold it for two hundred. But well, you played it right. Well, why would they buy it for, like eight hundred bucks and then sell it for just two hundred? I mean, at that point, I'll just be like, you might as well just keep it. It almost seems like a waste even just getting 200 bucks back. Unless they were hard up. But if you're hard up, probably shouldn't be buying $800 cards. Justin Williams out of 125, Tampa Bay Rays. This looks like our last thing here. That goes to Adam Kupperman. Oh, they graded it. And it came back in 8.5. The thicker cards are always hard to get a nice grade on. And Dylan Cousins at the end. Uh, we only have one numbered card to randomize, but any and all teams that were not represented on this list right over here will be sent to one person in the break. Name on top will get the tops, the red tops jersey though. Cause that was our that, that's our initial promo right here. You want the you want the jersey first. That was too much red on camera right there. There it is. All right. Apologies to Mark Glassman. The Reese Hoskins mojo did not did not mojo it its, its way into a, an autograph. All right. Let's go to random.org. Well, let's go back to the list. Add him down to Michael. Let's get him in here. So everyone has a shot. So name on top jersey. Second name the bonus cards. After three and a three, six the hard way, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Name on top after six times. There was no doubt about it. Jeremy Merle gets the bonus stuff. Jeremy, you get the tops button down jersey. I don't know if you're an adult XL, but there you go, adult XL. And you get the Corey Kluber out of 499 plus all the other teams which were so if there's any chrome cards of the Indians, Tigers, Mariners, Rangers like the whatever it gets shipped to you that will uh, that will go to you as well that stack right there. So thank you very much. Uh, congrats to Jeremy. Thanks to everybody for filling up this break. Some nice stuff popped out of there. We'll have more on jazbeeshobbyland.com so check it out and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.